10 months on, sound asleep, the perfect child. <laughs> she joins me with her parents, Kim and Ryan. Wow, what a, what a time you two have had. Goodness me. Yeah. Gosh, <laughs> it must be so wonderful to, to have her looking so well and doing so well right now. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. yeah she's perfect. She's beautiful. She's a beautiful, beautiful girl. So, you had to have an emergency caesarean, obviously. Yeah. Why did they have to do that? Um, we just went to the doctors because I'd had swollen legs for a long time. Right. Um, but they got painful. Mm -hmm. So, in our lunch break, we just went to go and get it checked out. Right. Where they saw my blood pressure was 185 over 100. So, Ouch. they sent me to the hospital. I bet they did. Um, to get me on tablets to keep it down. So, I spent the night there and the next day they did a scan which showed she'd stopped growing at 21 weeks and there was no water around her. Oh, gosh. So they knew so. they had to do something real quick? Well, they said it'd probably be a few weeks, didn't they? Yeah, they said, well, we're thinking of sending you up to Bristol as a precaution. Right. It could be a few weeks. OK. And, uh God, what a worrying time. Yeah. And those two weeks must have been awful, yeah. really bad. Well, it didn't even last a few weeks. We got to Bristol and within about half an hour, her heart rate started dropping, so, so had they to had to get her out. Of and course, there. of course. Do you remember much about that? Uh, sort of. But no, but it must be a bit a bit sort of bloody, but Ryan, obviously you were there. Yeah, you know, you were I there. just remember I'm, loads of people around I'm, me and putting cannulas in and yeah, doing all that sort of thing. That must be so hard for you as well. Oh, I remember feel, it like it was yesterday. I bet you do. Yeah. Because you feel yeah. so helpless, don't you? You've just got to let the professionals do their job. That was the worst bit, was just standing back and, you know, you were, the drugs were making you throw up and, oh, it, you know, you were so, so many people around yeah. and it was just, it was terrifying, but at the same time it was, yeah, I just felt powerless and just useless. <laughs> of course, of course. Being born so teeny tiny, obviously you couldn't hold her. How long did it take for you to be able to hold your baby? Um, it was a week to hold her in blankets for about five minutes. Oh, God. And then another week to get the first skin to skim. Jeez, that's a long, long time. It was that's horrible. That's so, so difficult. I mean, although you know it's for the best, yeah. that's really hard. Now, obviously, she had to have a few procedures, didn't she? What did she have to get done? Um, she had a ruptured bowel at three weeks old. Oh, jeez. Um, so they rang us that morning and said they needed to take her to a different hospital. Right. Um, yeah, well, we basically, we missed a call at first because it was about f quarter to five in the morning. Yeah. Um, and they said, you need to come in and we recommend you just spend a bit of time with her and maybe read her a story because we're going to have to rush her off to another hospital for emergency surgery. So she said that emergency surgery. She's yeah. obviously still, as we can see, she's still on oxygen right now. Yes. And how long is that going to they have to do that? Um, we reckon she'll be off by the end of the year. Oh, great. Yeah, yeah. Oh, with good. Uh, if all's going well, she's come down yeah. quite a lot already, hasn't she? Yeah. 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 She's, she is obviously a little fighter, you know, really. I mean, when you think what she's going through, yeah. all these operations. But when the, have they told you what the future is going to be like? I mean, she's going to be fine? Or do you just have to keep an eye on her? She's doing. Yeah, she's doing she's well. Yeah. Be just like any other normal child, she, she eventually. She'll catch up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, she will. She'll totally catch up. And she'll. Uh, what a story you'll have to tell her, though. Yeah. You definitely. know, when she's older. I mean, it's just absolutely remarkable. It really is. How long was it before you could take her home? Six months. 186 days. 186 days, and I bet you were counting every single day. Yeah. <laughs> so were you having to go see her in the hospital just as often as you possibly could? I stayed there with her every day. Did you love? Yeah. Oh. I had to take her. five days away to work and I'd come back and uh, see both of them. Gosh. Uh, Has it kind of brought you two closer together? You've clearly got a very strong relationship, but something like this sometimes can actually be really hard on couples. I think we went through both. Yeah. I, I think we went through everything. Um, mm -hmm. It was really hard at one stage. I mean, at the beginning, we were so, so strong together and then, obviously, all that time in the hospital and me spending time away working and... We, it yeah. would affect our relationship and it was a really tough time for us, but now again we're stronger than ever. Which is great. Yeah. yeah. Which is what you want. I just had to open up, didn't I? Yeah. I've gone through a hard time and mm. I wasn't opening up. Yeah. Yeah. So that sort of put a strain on things, but as soon as I opened up... Yeah. It's and it's that thing again. of you're thinking to yourself, I've got to be strong here. And then you're thinking exactly the same yeah. thing because, you know, it's really hard. And yet she has thrived. Yeah. Isn't it remarkable what the NHS can do now? Oh, they're... Superheroes. I mean, I, I, I really can't. There isn't. There are no words for the gratitude no. I have. They've saved my daughter's life countless times, and no. I'd be nothing without her. It's amazing, yeah, isn't it? So. It really is remarkable. I know you've gone through a lot, and it's early days. But do you think, even with everything you've been through, do you think in the future? You know what I'm going to ask you, don't you? I do. <laughs> a brother or sister yeah. for a little one. 
I've been saying yes. <laughs> <laughs> but not until she's at school, because we've been told I'm likely to get preeclampsia again. Oh, of course. Um, so then if we had the NICU thing happen again, at least I could be with the baby when she's at school in her in the evening. I understand. So yeah. she's already got everything planned out. It's all sorted. Yeah, it's I'm so not planned. thinking so anything planned. about that. No. I know. I think she... it'd be nice for her to have someone, yeah, but if we is. got a second, that's it. I wouldn't risk a third. Yeah. You've been through yeah. such a lot for her. She's incredible. And as you said, the, the NHS are, are extraordinary. Yeah. They do, they do great things. They yeah. really do. They are. She shouldn't be here, realistically. No, but I know. She is somehow. It's remarkable. <laughs> it, it really is extraordinary. I've never known anybody, you know, so, so tiny to survive so well. Yeah. She's great. Thank you. Thank for you. bringing it in. Thank you so, so much. Great to see you. <laughs> and as you said, the NHS are amazing. I have to say hello to everybody in Ward 12, here at Mary's Hospital, who are looking after my daddy. Oh. Oh. And they're just great. They really are. Yeah. Above and beyond the call of duty, they're fantastic. Yeah. Definitely. Thank you very much indeed. Thank